Hi there, my name is Rich May. I was a programmer on the original Rogue Trooper, and I'm here to talk to you about Rogue Trooper Redux. Rogue Trooper Redux is a remaster of the original Rogue Trooper game that came out in 2006. We've taken the original gameplay and added up-to-date graphics and rendering techniques, parallax mapping, dynamic lights, dynamic shadows, everything you need to bring it up to date, make it look as good as uh, the other games out there right now. We've also tweaked the gameplay slightly with a few little additions to bring it up to date to modern standards, changes to the controls uh, to bring the, the, the game in line with what you'd expect from a modern cover-based shooter. We're looking at some uh, pre-beta footage, as it says up the top there. Uh, it's from the opening sequence of the first level, introducing you to the characters in the game. So we've got Rogue here, who's just dropped into the uh, Quartz Zone battle area. We've got a whole battle going on here. The Noughts have ambushed the Souther GIs, the genetic infantrymen, and Rogue is now fighting for his life. And here comes one of his colleagues. This is Gunnar, one of his uh, brethren. Brothers in Arms, one of the other genetic infantrymen you'll meet in the game. Gunnar is uh, a character from the original comic, uh, as is all the, the genetic infantrymen you'll meet in this, and he will end up as a biochip in your gun, so he's aptly named. The, the comic pulls no punches there, it's, it's got no apologies for making the characters as named as they are. You've got Bagman, you've got Helm, and you've got Gunnar. You can guess where they all end up. Each of the genetic infantrymen has a biochip which is, uh, records their experiences, all their battlefield uh, knowledge, all the uh, things they've done. And when they die, they live on inside the, the biochips. So you can, as you're about to see here, when Gunnar dies, because spoilers, he's about to die, um, he will be saved and installed in Rogue's rifle. So he will live to fight another day, at least that's the theory. Rogue's now going to come and take a revenge for the death of his colleague. This, is, this guy here is called a Kashan, one of the Nort elite infantrymen. You can see what uh, Rogue makes of him. Not a lot. Gunnar's bleeding out on the floor here. He needs to be saved. He's got 30 seconds to get the biochip out of uh, his dead uh, comrade's body and install it into one of the sockets in his equipment. Too damn slow. I... Poor Gunnar. Just a bit gung-ho, I'm afraid. He was pretty much destined to die from minute one, but that's the way the comic has it. That's the way it needs to be. This is one of the other genetic infantrymen fighting a nought with a lazooka there. I'm afraid this doesn't end well. But it does leave you this handy lazooka here, which you can use to take on this Black Mare tank. Now, the Black Mare tank, as you can see, is an enormous thing, so you won't be uh, destroying it completely. But with the use of the Lazooka, we can destroy those two turrets, which are holding back the genetic infantrymen you can see at the bottom there. If you watch the shot coming down, that's the first turret gone. We've got another turret to go. And that is a, an attack hopper flying past one of the Nort's attack aircraft, which will cause you some grief later on. And then we cut to one of the anti-aircraft guns. There's another GI drop pod, which has got another of your comrades in. This is Bagman, who, not to ruin the surprise, will end up in your bag in a few moments' time. Now, Bagman, he's uh, your own personal quartermaster, so he's going to give you all the ammo you need. Um, when he ends up in your bag later on, he's going to manufacture new ammo based on the salvage that you collect around the world. So that's one of the features of Rogue Trooper. You don't just pick up ammunition from enemies you kill. You get salvage, which you can then use to turn into whatever ammunition you like for your favorite weapons. And there's a kill move there, Rogue taking a stealth kill. There's plenty of uh, exciting animations for you to uh, enjoy. The various gruesome deaths that you can inflict on the Noughts. They deserve it, they're not nice people. And that's a drill probe coming out of the ground there. There's one of the ways that Noughts are delivered to the battlefield. One from, something from the original comics. Here we've got a, a little sniping tutorial. As you come up and take this uh, emplacement. And then you can use the emplacements to finish off the rest of the Noughts. Uh, you're not going to run out of ammunition with that. You're using the GI rifles. Got the sniper scope there with Gunnar helping you aim. He can stabilize your aim, uh, prevent you from uh, missing your targets, which is a nice touch. 
And now we're upon the AA gun that we saw earlier to take out those attack hoppers. We'll destroy them one by one. Fighting our way through the Nort emplacements. The explosives in the environment are very useful for killing Norts as well. And here we are. Bagman's going in. Mm, not going to end well. So Rogue's pretty upset. Another of his comrades down. But another chance to get another biochip for your bag. Well, thank you for watching. Road Trooper Redux is out this year. Check our social media for details.